OK, so uh, President Trump uh, continues his trip through Asia on Monday. He was part of a summit of Asian leaders where he participated in a large group handshake. It got a little awkward. Take a look. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> that looks like the worst production of Riverdance I've ever seen. <laughs> what even is that? Is that the wall that Trump's been talking about? Is that what he means? <laughs> Can we see that again? Look at this. Right, and this time, zoom, <laughs> zoom in on Trump's face. Look, <laughs> was this a handshake or an exorcism? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, take a look at the guy on the left in the blue tie. Look at this. He's like, screw it, I'm not doing it. <laughs> no one's going to notice me with Trump passing a kidney stone over there. I'm fine. <laughs> Uh, now, the president was busy this weekend. On Saturday, he fired back at Kim Jong-un and North Korea after the country released a statement that referred to him as an old lunatic. Trump tweeted, Why would Kim Jong-un insult me by calling me old when I would never call him short and fat? <laughs> so, in order to prove he's not old, Trump reacted like a third grader. Uh, I mean, <laughs> right now, we are this close. We are this close to Kim Jong-un and Trump doing yo mama jokes on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Your mama's so stupid she couldn't get into Trump University. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. What do you mean, oh? Were you like, oh, as in good burn, or oh, you went to Trump University? <laughs> <laughs> if you did, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> Like, years from now, we can only hope that we will look back at all of this and laugh, and we'll be like, <laughs> you remember that time? <laughs> when Trump called Kim Jong-un short and fat? <laughs> anyway, how long do we have to stay in this bunker? <laughs> uh, great times. Uh, now, while the president is on his tour, the first lady is also travelling with him during a public appearance with some school children at a zoo in Beijing, Melania Trump got photobombed by a giant panda named Gugu. Take a look. Here they are here. Look at that. Look at that photo. <laughs> you can see it in those giant sad eyes. Like, help me, I'm trapped. <laughs> also, there's a panda behind her. <laughs> um... Finally, researchers say that they've figured out how to get around Apple's new face-scanning security feature. They say they did it by using a mask that mimicked the user's face. Yeah, I know. Oh, indeed, sir. <laughs> they say the mask they used is made of plastic, silicon and makeup, or as they call it here in Los Angeles, a face. <laughs> On the bright side, if someone has a mask of your face, Getting your iPhone hacked is the least of your problems. <laughs> now, the researchers uh, duplicated one person's face with ease using a photo and a 3D printer, and now they think it could be possible to mimic anybody's face. In fact, they say the only face they can't seem to simulate is this one. <laughs> 